Hey up! Now then, how are you doing? Welcome back to the Yorkshire Bike Mechanics YouTube channel. I hope you're all well and you're having a good week. And it's a beautiful sunny day today in Sobey Bridge. It's absolutely boiling and I'm sure it is where you are as well. We've got a bit of an unusual bike to show you today in the workshop. Um, this bike has actually been ridden uh, from just outside Geneva up to Calais, uh, around about a thousand kilometres. So let's crack on. So as you can see, you might mistake this particular bike as being an e-bike. First look, at first glance, you would say that's an e-bike, but you'd be really mistaken because this is actually uh, a German engineered pinion gear system. So it's a combination between Swiss and Germany who's developed this particular bike. It's an out and out touring bike and a commuting bike and it'll take you anywhere and it's completely maintenance free. Apart from you need to drop the oil every zillion miles or whatever it is. I don't think it's quite as much as that, but it's a long time. It's a maintenance free option. You drop the oil, fill it back up and that's all you need to do. Uh, and it just runs and runs for ages. It's an out and out trekking bike. It's a lovely bike, Re really, really well made, proper sturdy, lasts forever. Um, and it's driven by a carbon gates belt, uh, a tooth belt. I'll show you around it in a second. Right, so I'll just take this cover off. And as you can see behind this little cover here, just very carefully lift this off. There we are. You can see behind there the planetary system uh, that actually this is the mechanism that actually changes all the gears inside and if I just quickly just go up to the top end and just do the grip shift and you can see them particular gears moving you can see those moving around and that's the mechanism that actually changes the gear. And these two cables actually, this one pulls it obviously this way and this one pulls it this way. So it kind of pulls and pushes at the same time. Very, really complex inside. It's a non-serviceable item. So you wouldn't want to take it to bits. You just send it back to Pinion. They fix it if it ever needs fixing, which is unlikely. In fact, the original, um, the original gearbox, which was designed as a prototype, is still in use today. So I think that's testament to how good this particular system is. And we don't see many in the UK, but abroad in Switzerland, in uh, Austria, in Holland, you'll see quite a lot of these units uh, because they are maintenance free. There's no derailers, everything is in the gearbox and you've got every, just about every ratio that you would ever need in this 12 speed system. And they do an 18 as well. 18 gears, you wouldn't believe it, would you? So let's have a quick look around. So here you can see the back cog, you can see the carbon belt running around there and it's all uh, CNC cast, uh, aluminium machined. Um, it's a brilliant, brilliant idea. And these things run forever. The back wheel, the hub itself is seal bearings as we expect. And you can hear it, it just runs and runs and runs. Okay, so that's, that, as you can see, it's a fairly simple mechanism, really, really effective. Uh, and this only needs to be changed between 20 and 30,000 kilometers. So you can, you can obviously tell from that that it's actually long lasting. So this is the right hand side of the gearbox system that you can see there. That's the front chain, chain wheel. Again, machined, a carbon drive unit, lasts forever. Pinion cranks it on there, and as you can see, it's actually virtually silent in its running. So, so really, really well machined, well made, good bit of German engineering. You can hear it, there's actually no sound coming from there at all. Okay, so at the top end, you can see, oh, someone's left me a, a sweet, thank you. Anyway. Up at the top end, we've got all the space you'll ever need for any sort of luggage you want to take with you. And like I said this before, this bike's come from uh, south of France. Uh, and you can tell, obviously, the, there's lots and lots of room in here for all your stuff you want to take. 
if you fancy a scotch egg there's one here uh, so you can see all the gears as well on the bar the grip shift system on there got 12 gears there to select from I've just brought you around to the other side of this bike just to actually give you a little bit of a better look on this particular luggage here this were actually custom made uh, by a company called Alpine Alterations in Mosin uh, and it was specifically custom made for this bike now this particular company they actually upcycle old garments and I believe this one were actually a coat at one particular time it's amazing it's a great skill that they actually use to create that and it all opens up and folds out and you can get loads of stuff in it and fold it back down again what a great bit of stuff so I think that just about covers it. Uh, I'd, uh, we could go in, we could talk about this bike for ages, to be honest. It's a great bike, great piece of engineering, uh, great for touring, great for commuting. And if that's what you want to do, and you want to do it comfortably, then this is, this is the bike that you want to be doing it on. Um, so with that, I shall say, total pip. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. See you later. Bye.